Anyway, big hand for Mr. Stuart Lee. <laughs> Thanks. Um, before I start, there's just a couple of announcements from the producers here tonight, if you can listen in. Uh, first up, somebody in the Astoria tonight has lost a wallet. So if you find that, can you hand it in at the ticket office, please? That's a lost wallet. Can you hand it in at the ticket office? Uh, second up, there's a phone message in for Steve Harris, if he's in. Steve, your real parents are in the balcony bar <laughs> and they're looking forward to meeting you for the first time tonight. So that's Steve Harris, your real parents, in the balcony bar. If Elsie Lawson is in, Elsie, your artificial leg <laughs> is at reception. Later on, I'll be talking to you about how my tragic and ultimately fatal addiction to various forms of hard drugs has helped me to overcome my previous dependence on born-again Christianity. <laughs> Saw a picture of the Queen Mother in her magazine at the weekend. She's over 80, but she's looking very well. Mind you, you'd probably look very well if you'd never done a decent day's work in your life. <laughs> and if all you ever had to eat was swans. <laughs> Just been with my girlfriend to a nice little place run by some Italians. It was Italy. <laughs> Just come to an arrangement with British Telecom whereby I've had my name changed in the phone book from Stuart Lee to Anthony Twat. <laughs> this means people read through the phone book, ring me up and say, hello, you a twat? I say, no, I'm not actually. My name's Stuart Lee. I've just changed it in the phone book to a bit of a made-up name, Anthony Twat. So I think the joke's on you. <laughs> Teaches them a lesson. As you come out of London on the A40, you pass a Texas DIY home care superstore with a sign outside it saying, last Texas DIY home care superstore before the M40, which is worth knowing. Because <laughs> you wouldn't want to get stuck between Uxbridge and High Wycombe without a snap-together shelf unit. <laughs> Don't know if you know, but the French for to give a blowjob is tailleur le peep anglaise which means to make or fashion the English pipe. So it shouldn't take you too much trouble to imagine some of the confusion that I actually encountered when I moved to Paris to set up an English pipe-making shop. <laughs> First time I ever got drunk, I was about 13, got drunk on cheap foreign wine, went home, let myself in. I was sick on the floor in the bathroom. Then I was sick all down my clothes. Then I was sick in the sink until the sink was full up of sick. So I tried to scoop the sick out of the sink, put it down the toilet till the toilet was full up of sick. Then my mum came in. She looked at the sick on the floor and the sick all down my clothes and at the sink full of sick and at the toilet blocked up of sick and at me standing there with my cupped hands full of sick. And she said to me, have you been sick? <laughs> I've been Stuart Lee, enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks a lot.